Hello everyone, welcome to a new first look of the BMW iX3. This is the new fully electric SUV, mid-size. Uh, let's take a look outside, closed grille, air intake on the bottom for the batteries, tunneling from the sides, silver grille for the i family. Really nice, we have a 360 parking camera on the front, uh, badge with the blue surroundings. Gorgeous looking BMW LED headlights with a new signature. Some blue elements to emphasize this is a fully electric car. Gorgeous alloys. The M package. And taking a look at the rear, a really unique LED taillights. Look at this. I really like the design. What do you think about the design? Tell me in the comments below. And interesting diffuser. So let's check the cargo space. Back up a little bit so we can see the cargo space. So very spacious, nice flat entry for easier access to the points. We have um, grocery hooks there, pop out, have a full outlet. So we have a nice LED on both sides. Quite nice little area for the first aid. We have additional storage here for the charging cables. A little strap here. And for the first aid, you can see a little bit extra on the bottom as well. So quite nice. And then you can close it up like that. Another light on the top. Back and camera as well. And again, blue surrounding around the badge. So let's dive inside. Very interesting, high quality materials. Fabulous design. Nice rubber from the inside, leather with a little contrast stitching. Nice aluminum controls for the mirror, for the mirrors and power windows. You can lock for the rear. For the kids, you can pop the trunk on the top here. And nice quality speakers and X Harman Kardon M package. There's a lot of light. You can see that. Let's hop inside. Lock ourselves in. Don't get interrupted. Switching to wide lens. Look at this very nice overview. Still classical um, heads up display on the top and the visual cockpit, high sharp graphics, and with the infotainment on the top. A nice and wide screen. Still on the bottom, classical BMW dash zooming back in. So, just a quick look of the steering. Have cruise control on the left, hit a steering wheel, M badge, and some nice controls for the volume, phone calls, and infotainment. Infotainment looks outstanding. Graphics, 
a nice, it doesn't flicker on the camera, so it has a high refresh rate. We have a gorgeous, beautiful screen, gorgeous graphics. You also have charging points on the map. And just looking at the dash, uh, very BMW-like. Uh, we also have still nice physical switches for the headlights and uh, you can secure control the dash illumination as well. Uh, fine leather, gorgeous heads up display, a nice speaker, part of the Harbin Carden, again, and the doors over there. Very high-end design and finish interior quality. Uh, looking at the bottom of the screen, again, beautiful textures, still physical AC controls, uh, gotta love that. Uh, personally, dislike the touch screens. You can see the hazards here and volume, still a nice knob with few touch capacitive buttons and IX3 on the bottom. You can put your phone on the wireless charger, USB-A still. Uh, adaptive cup holders with a 12 volt outlet and uh, we have a nice uh, automatic gear lever uh, traction off camera parking sensors start stop blue button so you can see that uh, looks quite nice i would prefer uh, white illumination instead of this orange but it's a bmw signature auto hold parking brake and you still have this uh, nice uh, infotainment uh, which is quite easy to use with this we have shortcuts here and map navigation uh, home so you can also use the touch screen it's nice a uh, little maybe too much text but still are uh, pretty nice graphics uh, there's a pull down menu on the top for some shortcuts and communications plenty of menu options but uh, graphics are really outstanding i gotta say i like how they made this you can see here charging uh, current limit departure uh, settings, so uh, standard AC, you can plan your time for charging, uh, unlock uh, preferences, and you can hear, uh, so you can, you can, uh, switch, you can choose to how much percent you want to charge, or you can, you can see here, charge immediately or you can depart your charge or plan it later and I'm not going to go through this through details but driving more sport individual uh, where you can change the steering electric motor response you can see uh, set, set uh, energy recuperation as well and we can have the echo uh, pro so <clears throat> reduce your speed <clears throat> and uh, extend your battery uh, range, driving assistance, uh, plenty of op safety options. Again, traffic recognition is also very nice. And displays you can have here heads up display, uh, instrument cluster. Uh, you can have plenty of options here and uh, brightness for the display. So, heads up display would be interesting, but uh, you can actually see it now because of the hood. So, there we go. So it's just, you can control the brightness, navigation, rotation, um, and and stuff uh, like that. But uh, seems intuitive enough, and you can have here apps. So Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, and you can here uh, play with the uh, plenty of BMW apps. When you're connected, you can see weather controls, um, stuff like that. So plenty, plenty of stuff. Uh, and it's quite easy to use while driving with the uh, dial on the on the bottom. Um, seats very also very well designed, uh, pretty stiff, but again they feel comfortable enough. Um, so you can adjust the headspace, and really beautiful, gorgeous panoramic roof view on the back. Uh, the windows are tall, so there's a great overview around, and it seems like a plenty of space. Inside, a beautiful lights on the top. You can control stuff on the top. So, and for the two mirror tall person, plenty of headspace, uh, even for a basketball player size person. So, uh, <clears throat> plenty of room. I'm gonna say I like that. <clears throat> um, let's check the rear space as well. 
So, same high quality material finish on the rear as well. <clears throat> soft, soft, so there's, actually this is hard plastic, but it's uh, covered with a fine leather. Ambient lights on the back, of course. You can uh, tilt the seat, so look at that. So when you sit down, you can tilt the seat and uh, it looks pretty nice. So the top inside. So <clears throat> uh, considering I was sitting on the front, uh, nice room for my feet and uh, enough room for my knees as well. But uh, again, considering I was sitting on the front, uh, you would have loads of space an average person or an average person was sitting in the front of the driver uh, some physical buttons still for the AC controls two USB-C chargers for fast charging now since this is an electric car I don't understand why is there this hump as a transmission tone it would be a lot better if this was not here but they might have conducted here some electronics uh, because of the uh, still classical um, shape of the car they they reused uh, on the bottom uh, big cup holders nice net here and again really high quality finish tall windows so this is a really a practical family car and a lot of space i gotta say i love the feeling in the interior everything feels very solid cup holders um, aluminum finish you can actually open this here so loads of space for some small stuff over there and uh, you can press over here then you can knock this down this is a really nice carpet and uh, you can uh, put a longer objects if you have a uh, golf club skis stuff like that and you can see uh, the rear look also very tall windows a nice overview on the rear there's a nice speaker over there as well you have your reading lights on the top um, so over here some hooks and over here I guess you can put a net for the pet so if you have a dog or uh, well, mostly dogs uh, and just to show you uh, on the front so i5 is straightened up uh, I can straighten up uh, my head is touching but uh, because of the panoramic roof but still decent and if I was an average person I should have plenty of space so uh, if you don't want, excuse me for my finger, if you don't want a panoramic roof, then you'll probably have a little bit higher uh, roof ceiling. So even on the back, it'll be really comfortable for a uh, two meter tall person. Now, we saw the cargo space, pretty practical. I gotta say, I like these, um, I like the signature of this uh, LED taillights and let's see the charging ports so uh, nicely BMW decided to label these so you have the AC and the DC so AC is your type 2 cable <clears throat> and DC is combined here your uh, CCS for DC or fast charging and got some information there so it, it looks like a classical uh, fuel cap but it's a charging port and uh, to back off a little bit here while well, I have some space you can see the car whole car in the frame uh, just elegant classical BMW style and uh, let's check the spec so what do we have here so there's a lot of glare hopefully you'll see this so BMW iX3 um, so this is Deutsch uh, we're gonna switch to English because the channel uh, main language so base price 65,000 euros and then a little change and then total price of this uh, usually fully spec model sometimes uh, 72,000 almost 73,000 euros so the base model is available from 50 uh, 1,000 euros so let's see what's um, in the package uh, so once again model and prices uh, I'm just gonna pause here we just read the so we have a nice uh, carbon black metallic color uh, okay so packages so plenty of options so you can pause and read there and then equipment uh, MI dynamic package adaptive LED headlights safety features 
and technical data. So uh, just to check out here, performance. So uh, maximum output electric engine, 210 kilowatts, 286 horsepower <clears throat> for an SUV should be uh, quite enough. Uh, and we have top speed here limited to 180 kilometers per hour. It's still impressive. Uh, nice for the German Autobahn, considering this is an electric car. Zero to 200 in 6.8 seconds, not bad. Um, but nothing close to a Tesla perhaps. And whoops, um, just back. Uh, so electric range, 456 kilometers. Um, you can at least in real life reduce at least 100 kilometers maybe in the winter. So, oh, electric range. Okay, that's the urban. So, well, we'll see that on future tests. And power consumption is supposed to be 18, almost 19 kilowatts. It's a little bit higher, but still good considering an SUV body style. And um, here are the dimensions for those of you who are interested. Length, weight, height, and uh, weight unloaded, total weight, almost three tons. That's a pretty heavy car. But uh, unloaded is yeah, over a little over two tons. Uh, quite impressive. Uh, for sure so I'd like to hear your opinions now uh, once again the look of the exterior looking really gorgeous uh, masculine BMW style uh, of the iX3 with the big kidneys that are now closed because uh, air intake on the bottom is uh, sufficient enough uh, also we have a radar what do you think about the grill tell me in the comments I like this silver finish and then this blue uh, accents, even on the badge, kind of uh, stands out as an electric, but still classical uh, BMW. And I gotta say, I like this, like an X on the sides here, signature of the LED headlights. Uh, we're gonna see if we can pop the hood and show you how it looks. Do we have a frunk? So pull twice, and then we have the access to the front hood I'm gonna back up a little bit since I have some space so you can see how that looks so there's some hot areas here do not touch and looks like uh, some coolant here this is for the user or the driver washer fluid uh, should be a full battery underneath here and we have some huge cover plastic cover so uh, it appears to be closed, so there is no uh, front space that you would uh, expect on an electric car. I guess the BMW uh, is still using uh, the body of a classical car, so that might be the reason. And of course, it didn't close it properly, so I have to push down a little push force. Oh, there's two latches. Okay, so you obviously need two hands. I'm filling with another. But uh, it just closes and it's all right. So, how was the iX3? Leave your comments below. How do you like it? I think it looks pretty BMW ish, but with a little touch of a new powertrain with the blue accents. Uh, if you want to see more from the Munich EAA, there's a lot of cars. So, uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Thank you for watching and stay safe. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.